What's up, my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright, not letting me anybody dim that light. <laughs> my name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dice that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your love, your support, all your um, emails, all your comments, all your um, donations. Just thank you, guys. I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, all right? New subscribers, thank you. I'm honored and welcome. If you're here for the first time, please go to the description box. All of my information is there. Hit the bell if you always want to know what's up on this channel. You got to hit that bell. All right, donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for those of you that have donated. Those of you that continue to donate, thank you. For those that's thinking about donating, um, know that this is good ground. This is good ground. You shall reap what you sow. So on this channel, one way or another, okay? And for those of you that want to donate, go to the description box. All of that information is there. It is so, so be it a shay, all right? So I'm not going to go into my spill of the spill of the spill. But what I will say is if you, your energy is vibing with my energy go ahead on subscribe we family we're gonna do this thing together all right you don't got to hit a read you ain't got to go through all that because we have already clicked together and vibed and it is so all right so we're gonna get a roll on i am honoring the sign of gemini gemini all right so based off this card right here Somebody is getting ready to go on a trip. Somebody flying. Somebody doing something. But we not. We, I'm not doing the spill. All right. So, but anyway, look here. Whatever, whatever you doing, whatever you are accomplishing, whatever it is that you're trying to go towards, go for it. Go for it. Be open. Stay positive. Stay focused. There it is. Bam. All right. Okay, so what we going, I'm trying to do this quick. We're going to get this in and out, all right? So, what we're doing today is, first, I need you to place your mind on that person that you want to get the answer from. Place them in your energy field. Place this person on your mind. Place this person. Place your person on your mind. Now, nine times out of ten, this is your ex, so if you here, you trying to figure out an ex friend, an ex uh, neighbor, an ex coworker, an ex boyfriend, friends with benefits, ex husband, ex wife, some type of ex, okay? Because what we talking about is have they moved on? Have they truly, truly moved on? I know what the Facebook said. Facebook said they they in love. They they with that. They they found somebody else. They ain't studying me. They ain't worried about me. That's what the Facebook said. That's what the social media said. But something in my spirit, down in my spirit, is telling me that that ain't the truth. That's not the truth. Okay. So what we getting ready to do? As we getting ready to find out what, what it is. We find find out the T. Have they moved on? If not, why haven't they moved on? Why they faking the funk? Or if they have moved on, okay. Let me see why they moved on. Because some of you want to know why they moved on. Some of you want just want them to move on and move scooted along, okay? All right. So we're gonna channel what they what it is that they want to say, what what how, what their, what is their position on what is they thinking, what is their position on the connection right now. We got some charms and some initials. All right, quickly, let's get to it. All right, so have this person moved on. Your card is no need to worry. Okay, but let me tell you what's up. This says no need to worry, but your person is worrying. 
your person, it, it, they full of anxiety, full of fear. They hurt. They, 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 uh, uh, try to use drugs, alcohol, sex, anything they can so they don't have to think about you and think about the loss, to think about the pain. Because in most cases here, what I'm getting out of this energy is that in most cases, you, and I'm saying you, but you fit you wherever it go, okay? You have moved on, glowed up, transformed, looking good, smelling good, lost weight, cut your hair, colored your hair, fine as hell. That's what, that's what they giving me off this car. You have moved on, and because you've moved on looking good now, this person is all in their head, scared that you going to find somebody going to scoop you up that you're going to fall in love with somebody else forget about them that you're not never coming back they're never going to be able to see you again they're never going to be able to hold your hand they're never going to be able to uh to to, to sex you again they're never going to be able to kiss you again they're never going to be able to hear your voice again they're never going to be able to lay uh lay beside you again this, this person is all when i say all up in their head this person is so in their head worrying about this connection that this person don't even bathe. They don't bathe. This person don't bathe. This person don't eat. This person, all this person do is drink, smoke, sex, look at porn, try to find different people out in the street to get with. Um, all this things to distract them from thinking about you. Oh, wow. It's right here. I, I didn't even look at, I mean, intoxication. They full of intoxication. I try to, to uh, any means to escape this, uh, this anxiety and this fear that they have lost you forever. This, this person is, and, and sorry to say, I mean, it is so much energy off of this card. <laughs> sorry to say it, but this person have worried themselves so that this particular person um, might have put they have um um they have worried themselves into a mental illness. This person didn't used to have a mental illness. This person was um, was sharp. This person was very smart, business minded, um, was um, different. But when you left, when you left this person and you moved on, and I mean, it's something about you moving on and being happy, being fulfilled, being... Um, with fulfilled within yourself without them it bothers them it puts them into another level of anxiety another level another level of fear that it has placed them in a mental state of instability is what this is this per and, and this could be a fire sign because you got fire here this could be a fire sign that um, either you're a fire sign or you're dealing with a fire sign. Okay, worldwide web. Worldwide web. Social media. This person is stalking your social media. Every social media you have, this person is on it. Fake profiles. Because you have blocked this person. You've blocked this person, see? You're opened up, but yet you've blocked this person. You've blocked energy that is not on your frequency. You've, you've raised your vibration and you're only accepting this vibration to come into your aura. You're not accepting anything other than that, than, than, than your frequency. 
And this person is, is just, they're doubting. They're in a negative space. Everything is a doubt. They doubt and fear. They have so much doubt. So much negative energy. So their mind is pessimistic. It's in a, in a new, on a new level, on a, in a new way. Um, they have placed themselves in a dark, dark place that they don't know how to get out of. They don't see any light, anything positive in life. This is a dangerous, um, way of being when you can't even look around and see nothing that's positive in life. It's things happening to you that's good, but it's the way you're thinking about it. You're just downplaying and making, oh, well, this good thing happened. I got a check in. I needed this money so I could pay a bill. But this particular person not thinking about that 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 man, that money came in nicking, nicking in time so they could pay a bill or so they could pay their rent so they not put out. They just... It's lacks of days. Okay, let me go on and pay, pay the bill. Right? It's nothing that happens in their life right now that they're actually seeing as positive because everything, since they've lost you, they lost everything. And I'm channeling that. This person feels like nothing, life is worth not, li life is not worth living. If they can't have you, if they can't have what you had, if they can't talk to you again, if they can't be in your presence again, if they can't laugh with you again, if they can't hold you again, if they can't go places with you again, if they can have those experiences that you guys had before, life ain't worth living because there is no one like you. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried to find a friend like you. I've tried to find a lover like you. I've tried to find a wife like you. I've tried to find a husband like you. I've tried to have some uh, to find somebody to flip it and dip it like you. Friends with benefits. I can't find nobody like you. I can't find nobody that smells like you. I can't find nobody that that that. That body is like yours. I can't find nobody that wear their hair like yours. I can't find nobody like you. I try. And each time I try, I come up empty-handed because I truly understand right now there is no one like you. And I am beside myself. In I am beside myself in sadness. I'm beside myself it with, with grief and loss of not having you in my life anymore. I messed up bad. I messed up bad when I, I didn't treat you like you deserve to be treated. I messed up bad when I took your kindness for weakness. I messed up bad when I, I, I tried to place you in a competition, a secret competition. It was a secret, a secret competition. We had no business. I had no business placing you in the competition. You, 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 you're no one to be competed against. What made me think that craziness, that foolishness? But now I know it's foolish, and I know I feel so embarrassed that I tried to place you in a secret competition. But you know what? Let me keep it one hundred with you. Even though it was secret, you always want you. I tried to one up you, but you always one up me. You always was two steps ahead of me each and every time. And you didn't even know I placed you in that competition. That's how bad you is. I'm going to go ahead on and give you your props. You did that. You did that. But. Let me, um, that's what they wanted to say. They took over. They wanted to say that. All right, but so this is, these were the two cards um, that I was supposed to channel off, but they've already channeled. But here, here they go. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So what this is saying is they, they were, um, they're using distractions. You, they're trying to use distractions. They're trying to use drugs. They're trying to use 
uh, alcohol. They're trying to use sex. They're trying to use people. They're trying to use uh, social media. They're trying to use whatever they can as a distraction from all the pain that they feel and the loss that they feel of you not being with them anymore. They, they can't fathom every time they think about, every time they think about that they lost you for good, it sends them over the top. They, it sends them to a place of instability that is hard for them to come back from, of reality. This is serious, right? This person is really, really in a dark place. I'm starting to understand our connection, right? So they're starting to understand who you are. We already established that. How powerful you are, uh, how sp how spiritual connected you are to the divine, and you're protected. You're connected, but you are so protected by the divine. They see that as well, and that that the the actions that they took towards you, the actions that they um not only took towards you, the things that they did to you, said to you. All of the, the uh, things that they took you through. It is now that they understand who you are spiritually and the connection that you have with the divine. It makes them feel. Uh, uh, it makes them feel a uh, different type of embarrassment and shame because it's as if um, the things that they did to you, they did to the divine, and so it feels like to them that they. Um, cross the line that should have never been crossed. They understand the, the seriousness and the deepness of the things that they have done to you, to your face, and behind your back. All right? We're going to move on because I've already spoke. And we're going to go ahead and see what we got here for the, for, um, we got enough. We got miracle. We got imagine, we got forever, and we got forever twice. All right, and I think that's all we got. So for that, so what we got here is this person, uh, they never thought they were good enough. And in some cases, in some of your cases, some and on a small few of you, some some of the people did not think you were enough for them. But they got it twisted, and they got it. They got a. They got a rude awakening. They understand how in error that was when you walked away. Okay, um, miracle. Then this person understands that it would take a absolute miracle for things to come together between you and them. They have really done a disservice to themselves and to you and the connection. And it would take the universe the divine himself to work a miracle for things to come together. So they not really expecting for things to come together. They just wishing and hoping and praying that things could, a miracle could happen that the, the divine would make a way, but the divine can make a way when you in, in this, in this type of energy, when you are in an energy of anxiety, worry, um, stalking, obsession, um, trying to force your way back into a situation that is over, the divine is not is not going to honor that. What the divine will honor if it is that you take that you look within yourself and you start seeking and asking the divine to come into your life to make a difference in your life, to change your dynamics, to change your mindset, to change your life so you could transform, heal, and you'll be able to see the true value in you and what you mean and what you stand for and who you are. Now, the divine will work on that. Imagine, this person is, is imagining what it would be like um, with, if you two were to come together again, uh, this person wants forever and ever and ever and ever with you. Nine times, nine times out of 10, this is a past life relationship. It was a deep conne uh, connection. However, with things, 
um, when this person went down to the low, 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 it's some things that this person did and lines that this person crossed that they never were supposed to cross, which served the connection and served the contract. So this connection is no longer um, viable. Okay. For some, not all, for some, <laughs> you have to use your intuition. Those who know, they know what I'm talking about when I say that. Okay, so um, live the life you love. Spirit is want you to live your life. And for those of you that's in this, this worry, this anxiety, Spirit got something for you. Spirit is reaching their hand out. That's another thing. This is spirit towards you. This is your person, but however, it's still enough room for you to lift your hand and allow spirit to come in for you. Spirit is no respect the person. If you want to be, if you want to be saved, if you want what your person has, the freedom that your person has, spirit got it for you too. But you are going to have to do the work that's required. Ain't nothing easy. It wasn't easy for your person and it's not going to be easy for you. This journey is not easy and it's not for the faint at heart. It's hard work. It's hard work. But if you just try, put one foot forward, put two foot forward, to put, put, walk towards it. Spirit will help you. Okay, we got a heart here that's open. Uh, somebody's heart is broken. We got fame. We got fortune. We got um, somebody is, uh, we got lights, action. We got somebody that's getting ready to um, be famous. Okay, we have the fairies here. Whoever believe in fairies, your fairies want to let you know that they're there with you. They're rocking with you. Your angels want to let you know that they are all around you. Whoever this person is, you got fairies, you got angels. Um, you got the unicorn here, magical. You got magic all around you. Okay, this says um, kind, compassionate, true, true love, free, at peace, brave, strong, happy, and thankful. Okay. That's who, that's who this person, that's who your person is. This Your person is living their life and they're happy and they're complete. Somebody got angels all around here. Here's the, um, the horse here. You got a lot of action. You got a lot of brave and, uh, uh um, a lot of, um, strong energy here. You got the turtle here. That's slow moving energy, taking your time. Okay. We do have witchy. Um, energy so it could very well be here this is could, could be white magic it could be black magic you fit it in where it get in it's some type of magic here um you got the seahorse here and this seahorse is um when i see the seahorse it is it gives me the water signs the water vibe um, it means something else, but right now I'm getting the water vibes here. We have a, um, the water that's uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water um, energy in this. Um, so you may be dealing with a water sign. So we got a fire sign and a water sign here. We got um, the owl here. The owl is somebody is very um, spiritually evolved, spiritual, spiritual knowledge, uh, knowledgeable, wisdom. Uh, divine wisdom. We got the tree here, the tree of life. So this is a very spiritual pile here. Okay. Um, somebody is really into music, making music, um, uh, making songs. Okay. I knew that the seahorse was um, significant because you got the seahorse again. Okay. And then you have a dog here. There, somebody wants to be very loyal, want to be committed, want to be very supportive to you. And fit you, whoever you is. And this is you versus you. Somebody is a fighting against themselves. Inner conflict. That's what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we got D. We got G. We got L. We got S. We got C. 
All right. So Gemini, this has been your message. Um, I hope it resonated. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit those comments. If Even if it didn't, send me an emoji. Say hey, say hi. Uh, let, let, let a sister know you're rocking with, all right? But I personally want to say thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, uh, specifically want to thank you for that, spending time with me today. And I want to send love and I want to send healing your way. But before we do that, uh, like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you didn't, please, please, please like. It helps the channel. Share, share, share. Subscribe. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, in the description box. And then now I can say I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. And Trinity is